Today, I am going to talk about how our excessive smartphone usage is robbing us of the small joys of day-to-day -day life. When we see the sunset or the birds flying or just like a, we feel the nice breeze, normally we find it just amazing. But if we are totally sucked into our smartphones, these experiences will lose all their meaning. We will stop enjoying them, which means our smartphone is making us sad and depressed. So today I'm going to talk about the neuroscience behind it. Why is it happening? I'll explain that. And then I'll share with you some simple actionable ideas to which we can start getting out of this rut and start enjoying our life again. All right. So let's now start with the neuroscience. When we have some experience which we like, when we feel good about it, there is a, what's happening in our brains is that our brain is releasing a chemical, a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Okay. So when dopamine level goes up, we feel good. We feel more motivated. We feel excited. And when dopamine goes down, what happens? The opposite. We feel, we don't feel that good. Now, when, when you used smartphone for the first time, just maybe if you can recap a couple of years ago, when you first time you checked your, your phone, maybe you checked some apps, when you got a message or maybe some status update on some social media platform, at that time, you felt good. When you felt good, what happened? Dopamine, that was because dopamine level went up. Now, now just understand this. There is a normal dopamine level. And when you saw the status update on Instagram or some nice photograph, it went up. You felt good. Now, your body tries to always maintain a balance. So when something goes up, what does your body normally do? It'll try to bring it back. Okay. So now, before you, before you checked your smartphone, the dopamine level was normal. So you're feeling like, normal then it went up you're feeling very good and then your body brings it down and then what happens if it went back to the same level you would start feeling normal again but here is a small catch when it goes up your body try to spike it down and dopamine goes back not to the normal level it goes slightly below normal which means whenever you have an experience which makes you feel really good just after that you don't feel normal, you feel a little bit worse than normal. Next time when something you have a pleasurable experience, just notice this, okay? Whether it's a wonderful dinner or something of that sort, when that whole, that, that whole enjoyment is gone, you feel probably not as good and therefore you want to try it again. You want that experience again. It, it makes you crave for it, all right? So this is the fundamental idea. Normal dopamine goes up and then there, there's a crash. It goes a little bit below the normal level. Now, if you, if you keep using your smartphones again and again and again, if you do it all the time, what will happen? Now your body notices that, okay, every time you check your phone, dopamine is going up and it will start anticipating and it will start getting, it will start developing what is called tolerance for it. So the first time you check your smartphone, it surprised you dopamine went up substantially. Gradually, as you check your phones again and again, dopamine will go up, but not that much. Now you are getting used to it. The same thing happens with in, in drug addiction. If someone has a drug like, let's say, um, heroin or cocaine or whatever, for the first time, they will find it very enjoyable. But after some time, the pleasure is not the same at all. Same thing with a smartphone. So if we keep using it, the dopamine spike doesn't happen. It just, it's a very small spike, but the crash, the crash becomes more and more severe. Now it's like a lose-lose proposition. You don't enjoy when you use it, and yet when you don't use it, it feels terrible. Is it not your experience? If you have been using your smartphones very regularly, tell me honestly, like, do you feel really thrilled that I check my WhatsApp or my Instagram? Not really. But then what happens? If you don't check after, after you keep your phone down, you feel like checking it, opening your phone again another five, 10 minutes, why? Because dopamine has crashed, it's gone, it's, it's crashed badly, it's gone down like way below normal level. So what are you trying to do? You're just trying to bring it up to normal. So you are essentially what this addiction has done is it, it's giving us pain, it's giving us discomfort. And all we want is we want to somehow get rid of the discomfort by checking our phone again and again and again and again. And then the more we check, the more we get used to it, it's just, it's a negative cycle. You just get caught up in this loop. 
to, to help you understand, I'll give you an analogy. Just imagine, imagine I give you a candy, a nice sugary candy, and I assume that you love sugar, most of us do. Right? Now, when you have this piece of candy, you feel that amazing flavor, you love it. Now, instead of one candy, I give you two candies. So yeah, the first one feels great. Second one, not so much. But now I give you like a bowl of candies. When you have had your fourth and fifth or sixth candy after that, it doesn't feel anything. Now, if I were to give you a piece of carrot, you would not even taste it. It'll, it'll taste yucky. What has happened? Again, your body has developed tolerance. First candy is amazing. The fifth is not, it's not, not good at all. Tenth one, it's like positively horrible. Right? But then, from this example, we can also get a clue as to how to solve this problem. If you had five or six or eight candies, now, okay, for the rest of the day, you don't have any candies. Next day, next day, now your taste buds have gone back to normal level. And now when you have a piece of carrot, again, you will start experiencing its mild sweetness. So the idea is that if you get rid of, if you stop using sugar for some time, you'll start enjoying light amount of sugar as well. In fact, I know some people, some of my friends who do what is called sugar fasting, they don't take any artificial sugar. And they have told me that when for a couple of weeks, when they stop taking sugar all, completely, they find that even normal food, they experience the kind of flavor that they have never experienced earlier. All right, so sugar fasting, leads you to enjoy even the small amount of sweetness that normal day-to-day -day food will have. Similarly, if we do dopamine fasting, we will start enjoying the small experiences around us. So I can give you two specific ideas here, all right? But before that, I want to, uh, you might ask, okay, so how long do we need to do the dopamine fasting for us, for our body to restore the balance? The answer is approximately four weeks. For one month, if you bring down your, your smartphone usage drastically, then your, your, your body's balance is significantly restored. So there are two thoughts I can share with you. One is that every Sunday for 12 hours, switch off your phone. In fact, in my other, uh, in another video on this channel, I have talked about it. So every Sunday morning, 6 a.m., switch off your phone, your laptop, all your devices, and for the next 12 hours, just enjoy walking around, playing with your friends, maybe just reading a book. Whatever you do, don't check your devices. In fact, you will find that when you switch off your devices, six o'clock maybe, for the first couple of hours, you may even feel some anxiety. But by the time it's afternoon, you will start enjoying it. You will you'll forget about everything else. You'll have no more, no more fear of missing out for Instagram, smartphone, any of those things. And now you will, you will enjoy the breeze, you'll enjoy the sunset, it'll be amazing. Of course, next day when you open your phone again, you'll again get caught up, but at least you'll get a break. You'll see what it is like on the other side. You'll get that new experience. But for a proper, proper, for a proper fast, for four weeks, you need to control your smartphone addiction, smartphone usage. In fact, we are about to launch a program for freedom from smartphones, which is four weeks long, and this is the reason. Four weeks is good enough for you to restore your balance. And once you can do that, if you can bring down your smartphone usage for about four weeks, what will happen? At that point, your body and mind is now normal. And then you will rediscover the pleasure that you get from watching the sunset, from seeing the trees, the birds flying, a nice breeze in your face. These are small daily pleasures which make our life worth living. When we think about a wonderful life, we imagine we have to go to Mauritius or Belize or some beautiful place. Not really. We don't have to go on a fancy vacation. The pleasures of life are just around us. We have to just open our eyes and we have to have the ability to enjoy and experience them. And if we control our smartphones, we can start truly enjoying and experiencing our life. And I really, really hope that you will try to do that. Thank you for listening and I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.